But I don't know. I think I've attracted a specific type of person uh, in my past because a huge part of my identity is the fact that I'm an independent woman and I take care of myself and I don't need a man because I don't. I'm convinced. I am fully convinced that you cannot enjoy singlehood unless your best friend is single because if your best friend is in a relationship, that means that she's going to her boyfriend for everything before you. So even though she's the first person you share good news with or ask for advice, you are not her go-to anymore. And that includes hanging out during the week. He's always gonna come first for a date night. And yes, I sound bitter because I am. You can't tell me that being single is fun if you don't have single friends. The only man for me this year is a man who makes my life easier. That is it. That is absolutely it. Sometimes when I come home, I say, honey, I'm home. But it's just me. What's good, guys? It's your boy, Justin J, coming to you with another car video. Let's cook, boys. Let's cook. All right. This is why most women don't actually realize why they're single you should never pay attention to women like this so i got a request to do this video a subscriber asked me can you go over the types of women to avoid and it's not really a type it's just the mindset you have to understand that women to me are just women but it's their mindset women will have different mindsets but women are all the same to me because under the right circumstances they're either going to go left or they're going to go right so I want dudes to understand that a lot of the things that women do, it pushes men away and then they end up single. But guys always think that they have it worse off being single. No, 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 no. Women have it worse off being single. OK, so whenever a woman wastes your time, plays games with you, just, you know, pulls the rug out from under you. Don't get upset. Please just don't get upset because I want you to understand that that's typically going to be a woman's strategy to lock down a man and it's only going to work to lock down beta males and they despise beta males at the end of the day they can put on their best poker face but at the end of the day they always punish the beta male so you have to look at it from a standpoint of okay well she couldn't play me or okay you know i learned my lesson there i'm never going to fall for it again see the beta male will continue to fall for it over and over again so you have to think to yourself Thank God I learned my lesson or she didn't play me like that. I'm going to make everything clear. With that being said, let's get straight into the video. Number one, the women who make it difficult to meet up with you, to exchange energy, to exchange time, to have a good time with you, right? Those same women want you to chase them after they reject you. Okay. This keeps women single. And I understand that guys are going to think, but they don't do that for the guys that they want to let hit. Yeah. That's for the guys that they want to let hit when it comes to a commitment, a relationship. Yes. Women like to chase the bad boy, but a lot of the times women will get used to this strategy of rejecting a guy and watching him chase. Cause remember what I said, a guy can look a certain way from the outside and then act a completely different way. And it really shows what's on the inside and it causes a woman to start playing games that strategy works for women a lot of the times you ever have a situation where you and a woman were going back and forth you might have gotten her number you invited her out you had her over things seemed like they were going along well and then out of nowhere she just pulls back she starts kind of flaking ghosting but still one word answering you texting you sometimes after days go by it's because look she's looking for you to chase her and see guys that know their value are not going for it so guys who understand that they're attractive, they don't make things complicated. Things are very uncomplicated since we're on the topic of uncomplicated. The sponsor of today's video is Teej Hanley. Teej Hanley simplifies the entire process of taking care of your skin. They provide you with all the products you need and nothing you don't. I know you guys have been hearing me talk about Teej Hanley for some time now, but you're gonna continue to hear me talk about them because I know the product that they have will change your life and make you more attractive. I recommend you start with their level one system, which comes with all the basics, a daily face wash, an exfoliating scrub, an AM moisturizer with SP PF20 and a PM moisturizer and they make it simple for guys like us. They provide this instruction card in every box that tells you when to use each product, how much to use and in what order. It definitely comes in the clutch. Skincare wasn't something I always took seriously, but as soon as I got my hands on some Teej Hanley, 
it was a complete game changer. But you don't have to just take my word for it because they have over 7,000 five-star reviews from customers all around the globe. This isn't something that you want to put off because prevention is key. Get ahead of any signs of aging now. Your future self will thank you. And because Teach Hanley is sponsoring this video, they're offering you an amazing deal. Just click the first link in the description to get 30% off your first box and a free gift. Plus, as a member, you'll always get 20% off for life. Both gifts you're choosing from are a $20 value and complete game changers, a silicone body scrubber or a nail and face grooming kit. Personally, I prefer the body scrubber. Don't wait any longer, guys. Click that link and get started today. You see, even after a woman rejects you, she wants you to chase her so she can feel like she's the prize. So she can feel like you're all about her. Meanwhile, she doesn't have to really prove that she's all about you. This strategy keeps a lot of women single, okay? So if women started adapting the mindset of, let me show this guy good energy because he's coming forth with good energy, I'm attracted to him. Let me see what this is about. See, most women are used to dealing with beta males who will chase them. So when you come along, you're thinking, well, I'm not a beta male. You know, I'm saying all the right stuff. I'm doing everything the way I see fit. And this works because I'm attractive to multiple women, right? So you're going to run your strategy and it's going to seem like a woman is into you. And she might even be into you. See, another thing is women get intimidated. That's what causes them to start playing the games. But either way it goes, that strategy is never going to work on a guy who understands his value, who understands how attractive he is. So when a woman is doing all this, playing these games, she wants you to chase her. Don't do it. Do not do it. Just move on to another option. All right. Leave that woman alone. A lot of guys that I get on one-on-one -on -one calls with, they're always saying, well, I thought she was into me. And every time that she comes around, now she'll try to small talk me. But when I try to text her or I try to get her out somewhere, she wants to have nothing to do with it. Or she contacts me and says, oh, I got this late. No, she didn't get it late. She's playing games to have you keep chasing, to have you keep coming forward. But here's the thing. There's power in silence. When you say nothing and you go about your business, it confuses women and you're going to see it in their actions. They're going to start hitting you up, coming around, trying to figure out what's wrong. At that point, no, the ship has sailed. You let it go. Because if she continues to run this strategy, hey, she's just going to end up single. Number two, nice dates are for girlfriends only. Main chicks only. A woman that has given you sex a couple of times only. That is all, okay? See, when women say this is the bare minimum. That's just a guy offering her a cup of coffee and ice cream. Let's go on a hike trail. Let's go take a walk in the park. Let's go on an adventure. Let's get in the car, go somewhere. That's typically going to be the bare minimum for women. And I'm seeing this all the time. Women complain on dating apps that guys just invite them over. Yeah, because guys are smart enough, man. Like there's no reason to go all out. Take this chick on a $200 date, $300 date. No, there's no reason for all of that. Those are designated for women that keep showing, improving, and coming through, if not main girl or girlfriend. Nice dates, dinner dates, those are not for women off rip. And women have this mentality of, you know, a guy needs to do this in order to get my time, attention, and my energy. No, that's not true. Because the men that women want, they want to hunt down. They want to lock down for the most part. They want them to be superior to them, right? So why would that guy want to take you out on a $300 date? Because you look good? You know, because my mother always taught me, you know, something can look good, but what looks good isn't always good for you. So smart men understand this. Dinner dates are not for women that you're just meeting up with. There is no reason to try and impress this chick. I don't care who she is. You can do whatever you want. You don't have to take my advice. But this is one of the things on the list of, you know, 16 things that a woman must do to earn your time and attention and nice dates. You guys can send a donation and unlock that list. But that list is centered around things that women need to do in order to get good experiences out of you. All right. If you use this list or you implement some of the things on that list, you will see that women actually like you more than you think. You're just not pushing it. You're not screening for it. Okay. So never off rip, go out on a dinner date or take a chick to an extravagant date. No, 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 no. Because that's what they want. And see, here's the thing that keeps women single. When they actually get guys that are going to keep doing this, they don't see any need to put forth 
good energy or try their best to lock down a man or try to be serious with the man because another dude is right behind them another dinner date is right behind them there's a chick that went on five dinner dates or something was it five a week seven a week and that's how she was fed she didn't have no money broke kept going on dinner dates see what i mean a woman's looks means nothing all a woman's looks can do is pull the wool over a guy's eyes if he's not smart so i want you to remember dinner dates are not designated for women that you're just meeting up with women that you've only been seeing for a week or two or three no dinner dates number three the i'm a queen mentality only works on weak men okay so the i'm a queen mentality period you know i know my worth queen i know my worth sis all that stuff only works on beta males check this out See, when it works on beta males, it's going to keep women single because they're actually going to think that they're the prize. They actually think that they're a queen. But here's the thing. As women get older and go through life, there's still guys becoming that dude. There's guys that are already that dude. They're not putting up with it. They're not playing those games. They're not. They're absolutely not. Recently, a chick told me, see, this is how it goes. And guys don't understand. A woman is always coming around the corner. Kind of how I said for a chick with beta males, they always have a beta male to fall back on. You as an attractive man, this is why I always tell you guys, as an attractive man, you will attract an attractive woman, right? So this chick recently, I asked her for her number. She said, oh no, you're moving too fast. I need to get to know somebody before I exchange information like that, but you can have my Instagram though. Okay, if you think logically, right? I would have more access to you through the Instagram than the number. What do you mean? Makes no sense. You're trying to play games, okay? I just iced it. Stop talking to her. Not even 30 minutes later, another chick. Hey, you haven't texted me in a couple of days. What's going on? There you go. There you go. There's always one to follow suit. One is always going to come around the corner. But it was just so funny to me because I'm thinking to myself, this chick gets this off on a lot of dudes. A lot of dudes, attractive chick, but it's funny. This I'm a queen mentality. I need to get to know you and I don't just do this and I don't do that. Like I said before, under the right circumstances, a woman will go left or go right. It depends on the circumstances. Okay, so she just wasn't into me like that, but I'm for damn sure never gonna sit up there and play a game with a woman and make her feel like she's special. She's a queen, she's the prize. No, 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 no. Because you see in this space, we tell harsh truths about women. Sometimes it can come off like guys are complaining, but see, we also have to hold guys accountable that help women inflate their ego. And I'm not going to be one of those guys. So I'm going to hold myself accountable and always move out of a woman's way when she has that I'm a queen mentality or we need to take it slow because I'm worth it and blah, 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 blah. No, move out of their way. But that's something that keeps women single. All right, that I'm a queen mentality. No, 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 because in order for you to be a queen, you need to be under a king. Number four, telling a woman no shows you everything that you need to know up front. So what I mean by that is women will remain single because the moment that they hear no, they bounce. The moment that they hear no, they go with another option. The moment that they hear no, you're a narcissist. The moment that they hear no, all this other goofiness, right? When you tell a woman no, you need to see a woman in an uncomfortable state to understand how she really feels about you. The problem is when you put women in that uncomfortable state, they bounce. And this keeps women single because relationships are work. Being together with somebody, let's say you're not in a relationship yet and you got her in main chick position or you wanna put her there, that takes work. She has to fall under you and fall under your leadership. A part of that is hearing no. A part of that is disappointing your girl from time to time. It has to happen. It just has to happen. So when you say no, you're going to see a woman's reaction. You said no to me? No, wait a minute, guys don't say no to me. I say no to guys, so who do you think you are? And then so on and so forth, you will see this unravel. You will see her true nature and her true character. So always tell women no. Don't give women everything they want because this is something that keeps women single. The moment that they hear no. Okay, so only deal with women that are going to fall in line with you. You don't have to try and push them in the line or force them to get in line. No, if a woman naturally falls in line, that's the woman that you should move forward with, share energy with, all that good stuff. But a woman that can't handle the word no, nah, nah. Let her go off and remain single or go deal with some beta male, but never try to 
you know, accommodate to a woman. Don't do that. Don't try to acquiesce to a woman. None of that stuff. If she can't accept hearing the word no, it's a dub. Number five, men are really simple. We don't ask for a lot. Women just need to start asking us a little. Okay, so this is what I came up with as the last one to close the video on because guys need to be looking forward. They need to be looking forward to this. If you're gonna have a woman ask you little things like, what do you like? What should I bring? What time do you need me to get this done by? If you're telling a woman and instructing her to do something, it might slip your mind and she goes, well, what time do you need this back by? Or what can I bring over for us tonight? Or this or that. When she's asking little things like that, just know that that's a woman that you should exchange good energy with. The women that you do not pay attention to, the women that are going to remain single are the women that ask for a lot, but don't ask you anything. Guys need to understand that they start, guys start to believe this mindset of, you know, a woman knows her worth and I have to treat her like a queen and blah, 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 blah. But you don't even know her like that yet. You don't know her true character like that yet. Okay. Never pay attention to women like that. Never. I'm telling you, why do you think you have all these clips in these videos of women complaining that men are trash? Men don't try anymore. Men don't care anymore. Men, blah, 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 blah. It's because, listen, your peace can never be replaced, okay? Your self-worth can never be replaced. The respect that you have for yourself can never be replaced. The more clips that I keep watching and I keep seeing it, women are actually noticing this stuff. And the thing is, see, it's a lot of men that they don't want anyway, but it's transitioning into the men that they actually want. So every day a guy is becoming that dude. So right now, if you're not that dude, if you don't feel like you're him, just know that you can work your way up and become that dude and become him. So when you become that dude and you become him, the same chick that rejected you in the past will be there. If you're on dating apps, this is going to be the funniest thing, especially if you smashed a bunch of chicks on dating apps and you get off for a while and then you jump back on the dating app and you see the same chicks still on and they have their active receipt on and you still see them on. You're like, yo, I smashed this chick. Yo, I smashed this chick. Yo, I smashed this chick. Yo, they're all recycled. They're all in there. They're still there. Ain't going nowhere. This is what I mean by women remain single because the moment that you as an attractive man say, all right, well, this was fun. This is what it was, but I can see your character and I can see the way you move and I ain't dealing with it. I'm going to get out of the way and avoid you, right? Women will still go out there trying to be in search of a guy like you or a guy of a higher caliber than you. But this is what I'm telling you. It's not impossible, but it is not, it's not high, highly likely that a woman will find that when you're that dude. So I'm telling, this is why I'm telling guys, focus. Even if it seems like a woman doesn't want you right now, elevate, become the best. She's either still going to be single or be with the beta male. And if she's not, kudos to her. But nine times out of 10, that's the way it goes. So you should never feel bad about it. You should never get down on yourself. Oh, well, this chick didn't want me. And you know, I'm this and I'm that. And I have this and I have that. And I thought we were having a good time. Cool, bro. Cool. Let her go on about her business. Cool. So never feel bad about women rejecting you, playing games with you, uh, having high expectations out of you, trying to give you a 90 day rule or saying, I don't do this that fast and I need to get to know you and blah, blah, blah. No, don't play the games. Move away, move out of her way. Let her go on to a beta male because you're going to see as you get older, right? As you get older, you transition to your late twenties and your early thirties and your early forties. They're going to look back and you're going to see some of the same chicks that played games with you. Some of the same chicks that thought that their shit didn't stink. And I'm telling you right now, a lot of them are going to be single. A lot of them are going to be single. So you need to avoid this mindset in women. It's not really a type of woman. Just know if you're hanging out with a woman and you're talking to her and you pick up on these things that she has this type of mentality. Oh, no, no, no. Just avoid it. Get out of the way. You only want to deal with women that really genuinely want to deal with you because they see a value in dealing with you. It's not about what you have. It's just that they see a value in dealing with you, the person. Any other woman that's trying to get dinner dates and all this stuff. Nah, bro. Leave it in the past. Leave it in the past. So this was why most women don't realize that this is why they're single. Don't pay attention to women like this. Okay, guys, I hope you guys got a lot out of this video. Get with you in the next one. It's your boy, Justin J. Get with you boys in the next video. Like, comment, subscribe. Let's go, boys.
Let's go. So I matched with this guy on Hinge who liked me, who messaged me, who asked me out on a date. He was like, do you want to go get breakfast on Saturday? I'm like, yeah, I want to go get breakfast on Saturday. Sounds fun. And then throughout the week, we texted a little bit back and forth. Then like Saturday, Friday, Saturday comes. I don't hear anything from him. Nothing. Mm -hmm weird so i asked the important questions i'm like why are you 30 and still playing games he goes you're talking crazy so i'm gonna block you